Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello students welcome to the uh, NPTEL online uh, course Visual Communication Design for Digital Media in the last uh, two uh, uh, lecture, we have discussed the generic methodology of uh, visual uh, uh, visual design methodology. Today onwards, we'll go into deep uh, uh, go deep into the uh, different uh, paradigms of uh, visual uh, uh, communication design for digital media and their methodologies. So today, uh, as uh, uh, we'll discuss in details with animation and game design methodologies and uh, particularly the part of uh, visual communication design, um, uh, part of animation and game design and then um, uh, visual uh, design for the web and uh, uh, we will not discuss uh, the pr programming part of the web design, we will only discuss the visual communication design uh, part of the web design as well as uh, we will also discuss uh, some uh, user interface uh, design uh, process and uh, interaction or human computer interaction design process as well because this is uh, closely linked with visual communication design and then uh, we'll shortly uh, uh, discuss the graphic design process the visual com uh, communication element that is the complete uh, uh, complete uh, process of graphic design is uh, visual communication design uh, process that we'll discuss after that so today we'll start with animation and game design uh, methodologies and uh, here we are only as the course uh, suggests we are only discussing the visual design part of the animation and game design there are uh, there are a lot of programming and other parts of the uh, game design even the cinematographic uh, part w uh, comes in the animation and game design that we are not uh, discussing as it is uh, the scope uh, out of the scope of uh, this course <coughs> so uh, animation uh, as we all know is a film created with illusion of motion with graphical images so uh, there won't be any um, real actor and actress and the real uh, natural setup so uh, all uh, this right now in today's uh, paradigm it is digitally created but traditionally as we uh, uh, we um, uh, see the uh, traditional form of animation is uh, was uh, mainly hand painted uh, 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 graphical images and they uh, were actually moved into and changed into 24 uh, more than 24 frames per second uh, that is 24 fps um, if they move in uh, more than 24 uh, fps per second uh, the frames move then we can have an illusion of uh, continuous motion so there will be a continuity in the time frame so uh, that was the traditional uh, process of animation where handmade uh, hand painted images were there and if we want to create a stop motion animation then uh, there has to be a less than 24 frames so that we can create a <coughs> the particular visual style of stop motion so there won't be any continuity in the time frame so the uh, picture frames will break and the new, uh, new picture frames will appear it depends on how many uh, um, uh, it depends on the style of uh, the stop motion how many frames we select but it has to be definitely less than 24 otherwise it will be a continuous normal animation so if we uh, try to find out what was the animation's uh, earlier origin in terms of Indian context then we can see there are many other forms which was not animation but which was the graphical storytelling and uh, narratives uh, of uh, our traditional uh, Indian um, uh, uh, origin. So uh, for example there was a shadow puppetry of Andhra Pradesh this is the first uh, image is that so uh, the shadow puppets uh, were the leather puppets that was uh, created uh, by hand painting and uh, leather cutting um, cutting the leathers and hand painting and uh, and each and every uh, different joineries were uh, created differently and then uh, they were joined together with um, um, uh, stitched together and this was uh, done this is the process of uh, shadow puppetry here in the uh, picture you can see so there was a white background and all these shadow puppets were they're just behind the background and it will be backlit so from the back uh, back side there will be illumination 
and so that the colors and movements of the shadow puppets were there. So these were the uh, traditional um, uh, South Indian, mainly Andhra Pradesh was the um, origin. That was uh, the traditional uh, storytelling process. From this, uh, we uh, uh, created a, a animation in digital uh, uh, with the emergence of a digital media and uh, platform. Uh, we created adopted animations uh, which evolved from this. Even uh, there were examples in uh, Rajasthan, like covered uh, wooden shrine of Rajasthan, was also uh, related to the narrative. And even in Bengal and Odisha, there were scroll paintings which was of a uh, traditional form of narratives. And in the traditional form of narratives, as uh, uh, we can see in animation, we have a sound and um, uh, dialogues. So in these process, uh, traditional uh, narratives, there were uh, songs uh, which accompanies this puppet's uh, motion. So visual as well as audio was also there in this uh, traditional form of uh, um, narratives. This is a chart. We are not. Uh, I'm not going uh, in details of this. Uh, so, where the new animators, uh, the contemporary animators, uh, were adapt, uh, adapting this uh, um, Indian traditional style and uh, making uh, new animations uh, using this. So, this is uh, actually an example of a paradigm shift from a traditional media, which was um, uh, for some example, uh, for example, in um, Mukundan Reels, the uh, first example. It was a uh, um, uh, applique stitch, uh, which uh, uh, Nina Sabnani, uh, the animator as well as uh, the professor of IDC, has uh, done, uh, adopted and translated that into a new media uh, application, which is animation. So, uh, if we go, go um, uh, take other examples of uh, films which uh, is adopted from a 2D painting. We have uh, Father and Daughter by uh, Michael uh, Dudok, uh, which won uh, Academy Award in uh, 2000, uh, uh, 2000 for a short animation movie. So this was uh, hand, hand painted, but then uh, it was transferred into the uh, uh, digitalized and uh, computer generated um, animation is uh, created using this. So you can see this is um, all hand painted uh, uh, watercolor, so frame by frame. Uh, it has been painted and then um, uh, as according to the rule to, uh, more than 24 frames were painted per second and then uh, it was uh, the animation was created. So another uh, example uh, is Eric Curl's animation of uh, uh, a very hungry caterpillar and there is also uh, I see a song. So here in this process uh, acrylic sheets um, are used uh, as a base and uh, uh, acrylic paintings, uh, paint uh, acrylic colors are used on each and every acrylic uh, acrylic sheet to paint uh, each and every frame. And then after that, uh, each and every frames were shot, and then 24 frames uh, were repeated. Uh, more than 24 frames were repeated per second, and the animation is created by uh, that process. So, uh, the, if we uh, discuss the generic uh, design methodology of animation. Uh, so this will be first selecting the story or story writing if we, uh, we start from the cr uh, scratch. Then generating a screenplay which is ad uh, which will be adopted in the animation. So proper screenplay of uh, uh, with dialogue and each and every uh, frames detail has to be done. And based on that screenplay a storyboard has to be evolved. We will uh, discuss what storyboard and other things are in the next slide. So from uh, storyboard, uh, uh, then the selection of particular style of uh, animation, whether it has to be 2D animation or 3D animation, and in 2D animation or in 3D animation, what kind of particular style, color palette, what kind of textures, uh, and uh, uh, illumination level, each and everything has to be decided. And uh, in uh, part of that, there is also from that we have to de design the character and um, as well as the setup or the background has to be designed. And then the creation of the movie has, uh, has to be done with, uh, um, with, uh, with the movements of characters and the uh, changes of the background or set. And then the audio has to be added on this. Our audio can also be synced before, uh, whether uh, audio comes first or uh, animation comes uh, first, that is, that is up to uh, the animator. But then audio has to be synced with the uh, visual design. We'll discuss the visual design process, not the audio part and the story writing or uh, screenplay uh, writing part. 
so we'll discuss with the selection of a particular style of animation and uh, character design, how uh, we can design the character based on a particular style, selected style and how it has to be, uh, how, uh, what are the process of uh, creating a, um, a movie after that. So uh, we'll take a case of a 2D animation first and uh, they, uh, uh, a 2D animation is designed, uh, this uh, two are uh, what we are seeing here, two are already designed animation um, in 2D platform. So first is, uh, and uh, both of these animations are uh, derived from a particular, a single storyboard. So storyboard remained the same and uh, yeah, in both the animation only the visual style is different. So uh, how uh, on, uh, based on a particular storyboard, uh, different uh, two visual style has been generated and two different uh, animation has been gener uh, generated that we'll discuss. So first one is uh, based on a traditional Indian narrative that is a Bengal Patachitra. This is the style of, uh, uh, the style um, from where uh, this animation is uh, generated or the mood board, which uh, uh, in the mood board, the style of Bengal Patachitra is selected here. And uh, in this one, the second option, uh, the same uh, on the same storyboard, uh, traditional serigraphy or uh, uh, woodcut or linocut printing, that is the tra traditional print media style, that has been taken as a uh, visual inspiration. So first, uh, in case of 2D animation, we'll go into detail uh, the visual communication design part of uh, 2D animation. So after designing the characters and background, each and every key, uh, keyframe has to be composed uh, and according to the storyboard. And then uh, the other, uh, this uh, this has to, uh, this is done in this particular case is uh, in Photoshop. Then uh, each and every uh, frames are uh, composed, uh, uh, frame, uh, frames and uh, frames are composed with uh, iterating the character as well as the background. This is also done in Photoshop because this uh, this animation was uh, actually a stop motion animation. So they were, uh, were less than 24 frames per uh, second. So this was possible to do with uh, Adobe Photoshop. Otherwise, other uh, softwares has to be used. And uh, then uh, the sound effects uh, is merged with the timeline. So uh, storyboarding, as uh, we were discussing earlier, is uh, uh, it contains the description of a particular shot. Uh, so uh, and the keyframe of the shot, the first shot from where the uh, it will start, has to be sketched, like here in the example. And then the camera angle, what kind of camera angle, whether it is low angle, high angle, um, uh, with the starting camera angle, has to be uh, written. And then what kind of camera movement, whether there will be a pan shot, whether there will be a dolly shot, whether it will zoom in, that has to be written as well. And then details of the sound and everything has to be written. So this is a typical for, uh, format of a uh, storyboard. So here the key frame, the first initial frame has to be drawn and the description has to be written here. So here we are uh, seeing a famous example uh, from a storyboard of Pothir Pachali, that's by uh, Satyajit Ray. He won Oscar for uh, his uh, lifetime achievement in uh, uh, movie. So this is also applicable in movie and um, also in animation. So this is the um, storyboard uh, created by Satyajit Ray himself. So in case of uh, this animation, this was the uh, storyboard created. So uh, the uh, key frame is drawn each and every key, uh, key frame is done and then the what kind of uh, sh uh, the description of the shot and the camera it, uh, in, uh, in this cases this was a still, uh, still camera here in uh, this uh, case there was a tilt upwards in the camera uh, which was also uh, discussed here the camera was dolly and front dolly so this everything and here it was pan left in the left side there, there will be a pan shot so everything was um, written, even the sound effects were also written in the uh, storyboard. So after uh, draw, uh, making the storyboard, then a particular visual style has to be selected. And here comes the main uh, part of a visual designer. Uh, the visual communication design uh, uh, um, is the most important here. So here in this case, uh, in this case, uh, what we are discussing, uh, Patachitra, which uh, is a traditional uh, Indian narrative of uh, 
Bengal, which is selected as a uh, visual style. So here uh, there are uh, two uh, different Patachitra, uh, uh, two three different style of Patachitra in Bengal. One is uh, the Kalighat, which is uh, urban uh, Kolkata is the center for this uh, Patachitra, and other two is the uh, Midnapur and uh, Birbhum, which were. Um, the other two centers, which uh, Midnapur and Birbhum uh, Patachitras are mostly similar in uh, style, but Kalighat Patachitra is uh, uh, is very different from uh, Midnapur Patachitra. So, in this uh, um, uh, animation, uh, all these Patachitras, some of the elements from these Patachitras of uh, Bengal has been uh, adopted into st a stop motion animation. And uh, for this, I interview ethnographic survey or the interview is uh, done with a original Patachitrakar who is a, uh, whose name is uh, Maina Chitrakar. She has uh, also done some uh, graphic narratives with uh, design some graphic narratives with uh, Tara books. So, this is a photograph of uh, ethnographic survey to understand the color palette, texture, what kind of uh, the design principles and uh, elements of uh, the traditional art form. So, here is a stylistic analysis of uh, design principles and uh, elements of uh, Bengal Patachitra. So, here we can see the color palette is um, derived from this. So, this is an element of design and uh, also the line quality if we see in the photograph. So, line quality uh, there is a black and red and as well as white borders uh, which they use as a uh, uh, um, as highlighting the figures. Uh, so, this, uh, this is the line quality. So, uh, we, uh, we have black and red borders here uh, around the uh, particular shape, color field shape and uh, white uh, borders to show the jewelries. And here we can see a flat color. So, no gradient is used and the color used is uh, very opaque in nature. Uh, that was the Mindapur Patachitra. Now, we are seeing the Kalighat Patachitra where uh, there is a difference, the colors are drastic, uh, colors are very uh, soft and the vibrant colors are not used and uh, more of a neutral color palette that is derived from the uh, Kalighat Patachitra and also uh, the line uh, outlines were uh, not in all uh, the places and also we can see there is no flat, uh, there is less um, uh, areas where there are uh, flat colors where here in the red and uh, black borders are there which is flat. But uh, mostly the skin colors and the draperies were um, the gradient color shades um, are used in that. And also if we uh, look at the design principles and what kind of um, ideologies, what kind of ethos they have in the design. So we have in Kalighat Patachitra the human faces and the uh, Minnapur Patachitra the human faces, they are quite different. The intricacy, uh, the line quality, the uh, thicknesses of line, the colors, they are also quite different that has been analyzed first before uh, going to the uh, character design for the final um, animation. So, here are the textures which are derived from the uh, particular um, style. So, uh, fish uh, scales, birds wing and different uh, things as um, uh, to depict different things, different textures and different colors has been used. So, uh, the texture which is also a element of uh, design which has been uh, derived from the particular source uh, or the origin of um, original source of the um, style. And also what kind of borders, line qualities and uh, Patechitra um, also has a border which are the gutter spaces of different uh, dividing, uh, which divides different key frames um, of Patechitra. Uh, there is a border, there is a floral border uh, there which is also uh, taken from this, uh, and, uh, from this traditional art form. And also if we uh, see as we are, uh, we were discussing these were the origin of uh, uh, of uh, our animation. So, here um, we can see this is actually the storyboard evolved from this. So, these are actually the key frames and each and every frame has one story, one uh, song attached with this. So, one uh, particular frame has, is actually the key frame and uh, the main frame where the, all these characters were there and uh, a particular song will be attached with each and every frame of the putters. And the frames are di uh, divided with this uh, particular kind of borders, which uh, uh, are uh, which is there in the uh, this is uh, in uh, in the Mindapur and Kalighat Patachitra. So while selecting a style, we also need to uh, know wh what kind of style we can uh, adopt in animation and what kind of style we uh, 
uh, will be difficult for uh, adopt, uh, adoption in animation and what kind of style will be much easy to adopt uh, in animation. So here uh, from a paper of uh, myself and uh, Dr. Shatarupa Thakurta Roy, uh, we discussed the uh, features uh, to uh, select a particular art form which can be adopted in animation because most uh, main, uh, many of the art forms might not be uh, easily adopted in the animation without destroying the art's uh, particular um, elements and principle of design and the ethos particular nature of the art form. So here uh, the first uh, principle was the recognizability of the character. So the characters in the particular uh, source art form has to be properly recognizable. So here there is a recognizability uh, graph uh, derived from a, a different art form of uh, traditional art form of India. So we have Orli, Gond, Madhubani, Bengal Patachitra and also we have taken uh, Ravi Verma's um, uh, style, art style because uh, that is not a traditional vernacular art. but. Uh, uh, the classical, uh, uh, Ravi, uh, the famous uh, painter Ravi Verma's painting is also taken to understand the recognizability, uh, the feature of recognizability. So here we can see uh, the worldly, if we see, look at the character and the uh, back, uh, backdrop, there are very less uh, elements of design and the very uh, less features of uh, uh, features are there uh, to uh, um, depict the particular character and the uh, setup. So here if we uh, start. Uh, transferring Orly into animation, all the characters might look similar. So that is a problem with the Orly, but if we uh, go in this direction, uh, Gond and Madhubani has a higher uh, value of recognizability, but Bengal Patachitra has a uh, more, uh, more recognizable, the characters uh, portrayed in Bengal Patachitra, they are more recognizable than Madhubani. Even uh, the Raghurajpur Patachitra's uh, characters portrayed in Raghurajpur Patachitra also are more recognizable than Madhuvani and gone as indefinitely worldly uh, style. So there are more details in the eyes, uh, more details in the characters and more details in the backdrop. But the Ravi Verma's uh, Patachitra as it is a uh, more, uh, is, uh, it uh, depicts uh, every uh, features in uh, minute detail. So uh, the less level of abstraction is there. So as we are going in the uh, left hand side, the more level of uh, uh, abstraction is there. We only is the most abstract. So all the features are not um, features of the characters, uh, character and the backdrop is not uh, defined. And uh, the uh, Ravi Verma's uh, painting is the more uh, natural, uh, uh, it's the less abstract in nature. So uh, if we uh, trans, uh, translate Ravi Verma's uh, style, which will be uh, very easy to uh, animate. And the next uh, feature of uh, adopting, uh, uh, selecting an uh, animation style is the move, uh, movement capacity of the character. Many of the animation style might not have a proper, uh, might not have all the movement, uh, uh, different kind of movement capability. But in, uh, in uh, Bengal Patachitra, all the hands and uh, legs, all the limbs can be moved uh, in a different direction as uh, because they uh, portray uh, in the Bengal Patachitra, if you see, the, they portray hands and, uh, hands and uh, all the limbs position in a different various uh, position. In some of the uh, uh, some of the traditional style like worldly style, the hands and limbs position will be particularly in this manner. So we can see the position of the hands uh, which will be on the side of the shoulder. In Gond also it will be in the uh, side of the sh uh, shoulder. Madhubani, it, uh, the face will be turned always on the right side or in front. But Bengal Patachitra does not follow all these guidelines. So there are different, uh, there are possibilities of hand, uh, the limb movements in different directions. The same thing uh, is also with the faces. In Bengal Patachitra, which is very rare in the uh, Indian uh, traditional style, the faces turn in the fourth uh, three quarter angle or the 45 degree angle in the uh, with the picture frame. So that gives the details of uh, nose, eye and the, even the face profile, which in uh, terms of uh, Madhubani, we can see um, it is always uh, mostly turns on the right, uh, on the side and gone it uh, mostly turns in the uh, front side. So it does not give a nose feature and the uh, face profile. So also this uh, feature uh, gives a provision of 
using different camera angles. And in Bengal Patachitra also uh, sometimes the face uh, turns on the, uh, um, purely in the front and sometimes it, it also turns on the, uh, uh, on the side. Different angles of uh, portraying face is uh, used in the Bengal Patachitra. So there is a probable, uh, provision of using different camera angles in, uh, while adopting this style into animation as well. And uh, while decoding the style, uh, the di different uh, features of the Bengal Patachitra is also used in the final animation. This is the frame of the final animation, where the borders which I was uh, showing earlier uh, has been used to uh, uh, during the transition of one keyframe to another keyframe. So these borders appears while uh, trans uh, transferring from one keyframe of the animation to the an another frame of the animation. Even uh, in the animation's uh, features, uh, the flat colors and uh, the line outline are uh, painted in uh, Photoshop. It is painted in a different two uh, different layers. And in the final animation, uh, which I will show you later, uh, the anima uh, in the animation, this, uh, this layer uh, with the outline and the layer with the flat color moves uh, differently. So that uh, to depict the color, uh, the motion of the brush, of uh, while uh, of, of the uh, traditional artisan while uh, painting the uh, uh, Bengal Patachitra that is depicted in the animation by the moving uh, uh, two different layers of uh, color and the outline. So uh, we come to the character design. The character design uh, here we have the examples of uh, character design of ghosts which is done by again by Satyajit Rai in his film uh, Gupi Gain and Bagha Bain. So he uh, drew all these characters uh, of ghosts, how the ghosts will appear in this, uh, uh, there is a particular song uh, in this uh, movie. So during, uh, for that he have designed the characters which is actually a Chayana, uh, which is um, uh, adopted from the uh, uh, principles of Chayana Tuk. So there is a white frame and all these uh, ghosts, uh, uh, the dancers in Kathakali style, they dance and then they appear as a, it uh, looks like a Chaya Natak. So you can go and uh, see this uh, uh, famous uh, movie and uh, particularly this, part uh, this uh, particular portion of this movie. Uh, in uh, coming back to the particular case of our uh, uh, 2D animation design, the characters are designed from the traditional art style as well as thinking about the contemporary uh, features of a uh, uh, people. So this here we uh, can see this was the traditional feature uh, of the character while, while the ha hairstyle and the ornamentations were based on the traditional uh, sociocultural attributes where from that a contemporary uh, human figure is uh, evolved from this uh, traditional uh, features. Even the um, uh, other, other uh, characters has been designed from this uh, traditional style. While also uh, designing uh, different animals, uh, the traditional, uh, the blend of traditional and contemporary is there. So this is uh, a traditional uh, Bengal uh, Kalikhat Patachitra. This is a uh, uh, Patachitra by Jamini Roy, who is a famous painter from Bengal. So who also adopted this uh, uh, sty uh, stylistic ad adoption of uh, cat, uh, cat's uh, uh, character design from this uh, traditional art form. So this is the final design of the cat which is also there in the animation as a, as a char animal character. And here we can see a lion which is designed from uh, based on a Narasimha or um, also the lions portrayed in the uh, Kalikhat Patachitra and the Bengal Patachitra looks like this which is not like a typical lion. So that uh, traditional style has been retained while uh, 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 designing the characters for this animation. And now, uh, now coming to the set design and the backdrop design, the, even the contemporary uh, vehicles and the contemporary uh, uh, which is there in the Kolkata setup which is evolved. Uh, uh, from uh, Kolkata scenario is uh, translated into the con uh, the traditional art style. So there is a hand pulled rickshaw and the um, a shared taxi, which is a public taxi, which is a design from the particular uh, um, uh, design based on the uh, visual style of a traditional art form. 
And here is the uh, setup where the typography, we also discussed the typography, how uh, typography is important in the visual uh, communication design. Typography is adopted in to uh, create a scenario, uh, create a uh, background of this animation. And the features of the architectural features and elements of uh, from the buildings and uh, uh, local vegetations has been adopted in the uh, backdrop of the, uh, to create the backdrop uh, setup for the animation. So this is the final design and we'll see the uh, animation movie um, of this, uh, um, the small clip of the animation movie. So we have seen the animation which is based on the uh, traditional uh, Indian uh, uh, Bengal Pata Chitra. Now uh, based on the same uh, uh, storyboard, another uh, 2D animation is uh, designed which is uh, uh, based on the same storyboard but the visual style is different where the visual style is woodcut, linocut or serigraphy uh, style which is adopted in the um, animation. So here we can see the uh, 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 typical woodcut. And uh, this is how the visual analysis, again the, uh, the same process has been uh, adopted. Uh, so visual analysis of uh, uh, the source, uh, the origin which is there in the mood board the, uh, uh, in, uh, of the uh, design and how that is translated in the final design. So here are the textures of the uh, woodcut, this is a woodcut print. So woodcut print uh, texture is translated in the final an, um, animation design. And uh, the color uh, palette of a uh, woodcut, if we uh, see the woodcut is uh, and uh, uh, serigraphy or linography is done, uh, which is a traditional print media. So the uh, different wood prints will be there, there for the each and every color. So uh, one print for one uh, form, uh, the print of the wood will be only on uh, one color and the next uh, uh, wood uh, print will be on the, uh, the next color and those will superimpose on each, and, uh, on each other. So uh, that will generate, uh, that might generate a third color if there is a superimposing area. So here we can see if there is a blue color printed first and then is a pink color printed which will give a purple color in the uh, section. 
So, here in the if we uh, uh, consider this as a uh, serigraphy or uh, woodcut or linocut print. So, first there is a blue color printed all over the uh, uh, picture frame. Then if we add a pink color, so then there will be a purple color uh, which uh, will generate in the um, intersection between uh, blue and pink. So, there is also some part of the pink highlights uh, you can see uh, if you see minutely pink highlights are also there where there is no blue color only pink is there. And uh, then after that there is a, a black color which will be printed on top of this. So, uh, there will be a pure black uh, element on this on top of this. Uh, so, that is how the color palette is also color palette of the final animation design is also derived from the serigraphy's uh, principle. And here also each and every colors uh, as uh, we discussed earlier different colors move differently. So, uh, to give a different uh, the feel of a different color so that you will see in the animation. So, the pink colors layer, uh, uh, blue colors layer and the black colors layer they move um, differently uh, to give a illusion of three different layers printed uh, differently. So, uh, this is the uh, again for the character design the, the similar uh, the, um, the serigraphy and linography style is uh, uh, kept in mind as well as the, uh, uh, the features of uh, cityscape as well as uh, human and uh, animal figures has been uh, designed according, um, accordingly. So, as we have seen uh, we have discussed the process of 2D animation uh, right now moving on to the uh, other part of animation 3D animation which uh, we also uh, will uh, decide but the visual designers part of 3D animation is uh, limited because this is uh, this will be uh, the character designers or 3D model uh, the people who do uh, the 3D modeling with different softwares they will be uh, involved in the 3D animation. So, visual designers uh, will design the, anim uh, the uh, do, um, uh, develop the character uh, the concept design for the characters and uh, then free, uh, 3D animators uh, 3D mo uh, uh, who models the 3D uh, uh, characters and the set uh, they will model it and then the animate uh, then the sound uh, uh, and uh, so sound engineers and the sound audio will be added to this. But we will discuss the 3D animation process. Uh, so, one uh, example is uh, Up by Pixar. So, there uh, uh, if we see the first uh, the visual communication designers the, uh, um, uh, they will sketch the concept uh, design for the 
characters which will be there in the animation. Then the, this is the final uh, design for the characters which is de uh, designed in the 3D softwares where uh, 3D mo uh, the characters has to be modeled first and then each and every textures uh, will be added on the character and uh, colors, everything has to be added on the character. And these characters with the bone uh, tool or the uh, process of uh, in which uh, uh, process depends on which software you are using. So uh, the characters will be move, uh, character will move, even the set and background will change uh, in, in the time frame and the animation will be created. So this is a uh, uh, typical uh, 3D animation. But there is another example, uh, if we see Disney's uh, Paper Man, so this will look like a 2D animation. Uh, if, we see, if you see the, this animation which is available in uh, uh, YouTube, you can see this. Uh, so this animation by first glance will look like a 2D animation and uh, it, uh, it uh, gives the effect of uh, hand painted old Disney style which we uh, uh, see in the traditional uh, Disney style where each and every frames are painted and uh, then again 24 frames per, per second will move uh, in uh, uh, 24 frames will move uh, per second and then uh, that was the traditional uh, 2D painted um, uh, animation uh, style but here in this uh, particular animation paper man uh, it is actually a 3D animation which is not the traditional Disney style but they wanted to keep the uh, style, uh, style and the visual language of uh, visual um, uh, uh, elements and visual principles of a 2D uh, traditional Disney animation in this 3D animation. So again uh, they have uh, definitely gone through the line qualities, what kind of particular texture, what kind of color. Uh, is there in the 2D animation. So here we uh, can see the particular lines which uh, the uh, uh, visual communication designer, the animator who sketched and uh, the line qualities are uh, taken from this and then they finally made a 3D model because 3D animation is right now easy and is uh, less labor intensive. So they uh, adopted a 3D uh, animation process to generate a, a visual look of a 2D animation. So this is the uh, first sketch of a 2D animation, then this is the 3D modeled uh, version of the particular character and this is how uh, the 3D model of the first image here you can see is the 3D model character and here the uh, line qualities, uh, colors and uh, uh, all the design elements is taken from the 2D animation is superimposed on it, this. So all this uh, using a particular software. Uh, they have identified uh, a particular, sh uh, they have translated the 3D uh, volume into 2D lines and then the final animation looks like a 2D animation. But through a 3D, uh, uh, through a uh, process of uh, adopting a methodology of a 3D animation, they have generated a uh, style of 2D animation. So right now moving on to the game design, uh, so that is also uh, quite similar of anim animation if we uh, uh, take out the part of a game play and uh, a development part of this which is not uh, uh, part of the visual communication design. So storyboarding, character design and set design also is uh, uh, there in the game design as well. So uh, that is a visual co communication component of a game design. So that also uh, will discuss a small uh, game design uh, which is also a 2D game uh, design based on a fla uh, flash platform. So this is the game which is designed by uh, myself and uh, developed by Mayuk Chakraborty uh, and this is uh, available in, in uh, Samsung uh, Smart TV. So this is a TV game. So this is the uh, screenshot of uh, the different stages of the game. There in the process also uh, again uh, it is uh, trans, uh, translated from a traditional Indian style. So here we can see different uh, influence of different traditional Indian style as well as uh, Jamini Roy's um, uh, Patachitra is also there, is, um, there was uh, in the mood board. So here we can see um, uh, influences of Thangka painting uh, for designing the cloud. Uh, here we can see uh, the particular uh, Chou dance uh, mask uh, is in. Um, is, uh, was in the mood board uh, to generate the style for uh, the uh, demon of the uh, game and even the uh, uh, some of the features are uh, evolved from the Jamini Roy's Patachitra 
and uh, to mi uh, by mixing different uh, traditional and um, traditional Indian art form, the design is created um, uh, while designing the character as well as the uh, background and uh, then the final uh, design is uh, there. So this is the final game, we will see the final game. So we have discussed uh, the animation and game design methodologies in this um, uh, lecture. So ne in next, uh, next lecture, we will move on to the web design methodologies and the uh, then we will uh, briefly discuss the graphic uh, design methodologies. Thank you.